And let's see. We do have the Emperor and the Ten of Swords. Um, right? An Aries um, might have betrayed us. Um, but this is also the energy of um, power. Is the energy of power struggle. Is the energy of somebody wanting to, you know, coming from a position where I'm going to show you. You're going to see, you know. Um, and the Emperor Upright, it's, it's a good energy, but this combination kind of tells me that somebody might have abused their um, power over you, whatever that power means, right? Financial, emotional, um, all that energy. And the Hierophant in Reverse Taurus energy with a Ten of Swords. We might be in a divorce battle right now. Trying to survive Ten of Swords is the energy of survival. Does it? It's not the energy of fighting back. So we might be wise here. And the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, might be a fire sign involved in this. It does look like an ugly divorce, but let's see before we jump to any conclusions. Um, Ten of Swords in reverse with the Page of Pentacles. This is the energy of compromise and making an offer. Um, wanting to, you know, be kind of stable about it and not over go overboard. Page of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and yet that is not much effort. Or Capricorn, you've done your part, you are guided to not <clears throat> put the effort in. Page of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles, and together is kind of a Ten of Pentacles. Stability is coming, but I'm not gonna lie, Nine of Pentacles in uh, love readings is all about being single, autonomous, independent, separated, and healing the hell out of it, the star card, Aquarius energy, right, okay, now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one, and we do have, I know, unfinished business, right, the death in reverse, four of cups, page of pentacles, the situation is dead, 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 and it looks like a commitment, the Hierophant and the King of Swords. Might look like a marriage here. Um, it's not yet over, but yet it but it is coming, right? The Page of Pentacles in reverse at some point it will be a compromise in it, an offer of some sort, and um justice is coming, so that's good. But we are in the midst of it, right? In the swirl of things, kind of. Um, not yet done, not yet over, not yet single. And look at this, the universe really wanted to make sure that you know it's unfinished business, we have twice. For some of you, it might be a Scorpio. So let's see what this is all about, and if it's not over, where exactly it will uh, lead us. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, <clears throat> and mutual. Let us have the current energies for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Page of Cups, new, new emotional experience, waiting for a new emotional experience, a reunion, we want them back. Oh, Capricorn, I know, I know, baby, I know, we want them back. So unfinished business, unfinished business, being sad about and bringing some justice. So let's see. Um, Capricorn, in the past, recent past, something that you need to deal with at this time. We do have the sun in reverse. This is unhappiness and confusion and yet still being bound to this connection. Eight of Swords, blindly tied up, right? This is the energy of blind um, faith. Uh, we don't see the truth, we don't know what's going on, we've been unhappy with so many things and yet we stay there. That's energy I'm picking up Capricorn. A sense of duty, right? A sense of responsibility, a sense of I have to. We do have the sun, so some of you have children with this person and that is the sense of um, no matter what, happy, unhappy, I have to. That's what I need to do, you know. And, um, of course, fighting a cycle. Um, death in reverse is also the energy of, I don't want this to end, I'll fight for this, I'll uh, make it work, make it happen. Um, because we also have the Hierophant, so we know it's all about commitment and tradition. It's like, that is no way out. Uh, that is no way, it's, you know. Um, 
that is also a sense of mental prison um capricorn kind of when we see the eight of swords is kind of the universe saying well you can get out but you do you just wouldn't uh do that you know uh that is a way out <clears throat> that is a possibility for you to un um to unfold the uh, right the take off the blindfold and and still you are not doing it this one is kind of on you you know and the mind is not helping because you are in your own mind and and you set boundaries and limits for yourself um in this situation now this person of yours um five of swords you might be fighting with them there might be a sense of conflict a sense of harsh words um we might be saying things they might be saying things responding a sense of competition and they do have the magician somebody here is sending out into the universe um you know um, manifestations for a new life for a new beginning setting out the intention and starting to visualize this is the law of attraction right um wanting to attract different things but also a sense of taking control and having the tools working on themselves working on their confidence um you know and um and coming up with a plan that is a sense of planning here and that is a sense of tools and a sense of um, hands-on right and also as above so below <clears throat> kind of coming from a place where we understand that when we get into conflict and something is not working and we put the effort and still it doesn't work it's like a big signal that maybe something new is coming right now mutual energies between the two of you in the past we do have the three of cups and the four of swords in reverse um i know right it's um it's kind of the energy of not thinking about or not putting the effort or not taking action when it comes to happiness and um a sense of easy breezy energy right um we forgot to be in the cup energy in the cups energy the emotions and sharing emotions and and kind communications and coming together and having energies of happiness and enjoying life and having fun um and we were not paying attention we didn't take action we actually went more into eight of swords five of swords four of swords when i'm upset i don't talk to you you know that's a four of swords it's like leave me alone give me space i do not talk to you right now but we forgot that actually you know we have to take things easy in life um and be kind and be friendly you know no matter what three of cups is a beautiful energy to be to be in right but we might not have um paid attention at that time capricorn where are we right now six of cups um i turn it around because it's the only card i don't read in reverse and we do have the lovers gemini energy a lot of love a lot of love we have for this person you know it's kind of the universe putting this under your eyes and saying isn't it too much <laughs> you know just saying um it's, it, it has a sense of every everything you have and you possess and you are uh, revolves around this person and again tied up in the past unhappy and yet and still tied up and now with a lot of love and a lot of thinking um of what it was right six of cups is the energy of reminiscence it's the energy of going through past memories um and thinking and thinking for some of you it's also the energy of children but it has a lot of love and sensual attraction and body mind and soul with the lovers and choices being made out of love so yeah a lot of love now this person of yours um they might be focused on money right now capricorn they do have the four of pentacles upright that is a sense of holding on to what it was but it is also with the five of pentacles a sense of not having enough not being enough questioning themselves that is a sense of i don't know how love and poverty might be or how uh, divorce and poverty might be tied up but that is this energy right um for some of you they are going through major changes five of swords five of pentacles four of pentacles changes with a financial twist um and that's why somebody here is manifesting a new beginning and, and wanting to change a situation um in in a positive way but still right now that is a sense of feeling lonely that is a sense of emptiness that they might have 
and a sense of self-protection you know it's like they are being vulnerable and protecting themselves you know um that is the sun for some of you of course might um be tied up to money and um and well if we divorce we might have to whatever but i'm mainly sensing that they feel vulnerable at this time and going through changes now capricorn mutual energies between the two of you somebody feels ashamed and stressed out uh, one can be feeling ashamed the other one ashamed the other one might be feeling stressed so um it's quite an energy right now i would say um quite an energy an energy where we don't sleep at night we think about we make movies in our head and we think it's true um plus there is a sense of uh probably this cycle when it will be over we will have to see people and talk about it and that's the uh, shaming part of it six of wands there is a sense of um nobody wins um in this there is a sense of nobody wins and because in the past we had so um you know conflicts of of all kinds and uh, cold communication and harsh communication we feel like nobody will win right with this behavior actually nobody does so um and reminiscent right and reminiscent and hurt that is a sense of hurt and that is a sense of vulnerability at this time and a sense of exposure um to this you know to this pain to this um mind prison moving forward capricorn well well what is this if we are not um right perseverant we, you have the six of cups again and the temperance such that is energy but this is about love and balance um you have um soulmates with lovers soulmates with balance so absolutely what come what comes your way is amazing in terms of energies um it is finding balance moderation compromise combining differences and simply we we know we love this person right but it's also the the outcome of this and the energy coming your way and it's exactly what you put out into the world six of cups it comes back to you with the six of cups and again can be from this person can be from a different person can be self-love and um reaching that state of um i'm good you know no matter what i can i can be in control now this person of yours capricorn they do have the queen of wands and the strength again a lot of fire and them being strong and staying strong and staying courageous taming themselves on their best behavior even if a little bit upside down here you know um you have a lot of fire coming your way um capricorn a lot of fire coming your way but i'm actually sensing that we are shifting energies right on your side we combine a lot of love with a lot of um choices and and movement and action and and balance and on their side it's it has a sense of taking control with the strength and being courageous in in this um in this time of vulnerability for them um it, that is not a lot of action but it is a lot of internal processing with the strength a lot of um tools putting together right so that they um be strong um capricorn moving forward the energy between the two of you energy is coming your way we do have the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups in reverse somebody actually is going back to independence money focusing on financial stability um focusing on uh, probably uh, some of you uh, or you are dealing with somebody who's self-employed and um actually that is this energy of staying strong and uh, and focusing on getting back on track financially um someone here is really focused or feeling a little bit unstable financially and um their main focus is actually the energy is coming your their way is a plan and staying strong and focusing on what makes them stable while probably capricorn this might be your energy eight of cups in reverse one thing back because we still love the bastard dot or the bitch that is kind of a twice the confirmation of this so um but i'm not gonna lie i'm seeing love on your side i'm seeing struggles and getting back on horse on their side right this energy of it's been a hustle with the five of swords 
and they are manifesting abundance, staying strong, uh, being self-employed, bringing some justice to this, and um, with a with a death in reverse, like coming peacefully to a to a to an end of a cycle of some sort. So um, <clears throat> I know, I know. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do here. Um, we kind of see the big picture now. Um, we kind of see the big picture, but let's see. We do have very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That is a decision that you need to make, um, Capricorn. And we have deception. So there has been deception, right? Someone is wearing a self, um, a false self mask in this relationship. This one wanted to come out. Deception very soon and children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now let's have the, um, this one. Let's see what we need to know and do. So deception, children, and very soon. It's about time to make a decision, Capricorn. This is what I'm hearing. It has been a deception. Kids are involved in this. Um, we know Five of uh, Pentacles is actually somebody um, uh, walking away with a, with a child in need, right? A special need um, um, kid. So Capricorn, choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. And it's interesting, very soon, right? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And it's paired with the same energy. Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So that is a decision that needs to be um, made. We have deception and it's paired with maturity. So that is a sense of... Um, I'm picking up a sense of analysis that needs to be done here a sense of looking at the situation with the eyes of a researcher in some way and measure deception and measure maturity that it takes to move on right and detail and um it, it was a growing experience this is to make us grow it was it was bad right it was a deception it was disappointing and yet it comes with a lot of knowledge see the lady she's writing her experience and it will become the lesson that will follow you um, through the rest of your life right and we have self-protection the garden this is cultivating your inner soul right and taking care of you that's a garden nurturing every seed of greatness in you right and having your secret garden and having your own world that you take care of and it involves children here okay now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. I don't feel um, Capricorn, you are guided towards this person. Uh, at this time, they are focusing on um, healing their um, um, financial, I would say, energy and um, their vulnerability. So what do we put back into the flow? We have this energy of responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express right? You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. We have surrender negative thinking. So you have control over your thoughts, Capricorn. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. We put abundance back into the flow. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality so i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality then we have elevation you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love and we do have forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love beautiful i guess we let them go and we focus on abundant abundance elevation and forgiveness um it's kind of like you know we draw a couple of lessons with the maturity right in the 
right at the core of the guidance and self-protection and we say goodbye here that's the uh, message i'm getting um so capricorn you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care